Welcome back to another episode, and I'm here today at Chili Chicken Nashville Hot Chicken. We're here to take on a spice challenge. I've heard that they got a pretty hot sauce here, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, it's called Really Cluckin' Hot. So we're gonna try that. Um, we're also gonna try the clucking hot, just see how it goes. Uh, so today's all about heat, not so much speed or capacity. So we're gonna see how this goes. Let's get inside. Can I please order the uh, chicken sandwich combo with the green chili uh, mac and cheese? And your sandwich, how hot would you like it? Can we do on the sandwich? We'll try clucking hot. Can I please do an order of three of the chicken tenders? Okay. Uh, with the hottest one, which is the really cluck. The really cluck. Yes, sir. Have you ever had it? Never had it before. Okay. We are asked to ask that question if you've never had it. Okay, yeah, no, never had it. Okay. It's pretty hot. Reaper, right? Uh, it's a little bit. It's okay. A little hot. Carolina Reaper. Okay. So here I have this chicken sandwich. It's got the clucking hot. You can smell it on there as you can see it. It's Carolina Reaper sauce. I have three of the tenders with the really clucking hot and some of this bacon mac and cheese, which look delicious. So we're gonna see what we do here. Timer just for funsies, but I'm a little nervous. It's a little intimidating. Maybe not a lot of food, but the heat, I can just smell it on there. So what do you say we unwrap this and get started? Go for the bite with the sauce. Mm. This is really tasty. Mm. Not as hot as I thought, but really juicy. Now, first off, I want to say a big thanks to the staff there and for Dean. It felt, you know, they were really hospitable and they made sure the food was, you know, tasting really good and it wasn't overpowering with the heat. And, you know, they told me they could have really sauced it up, but they chose to make it how they would normally make it. And that's how I wanted it. So now up until this point, Popeye's was my favorite chicken sandwich of all time. It beats everything else, in my opinion. And I got to say that this one, it topped it up. So I got to give this one probably a nine and a half on 10, even though was extra hot I just really enjoyed how juicy it was and how thick the chicken was it's very filling and the spice is gonna get you on this one too so the cluck and hot has Reaper in it so if you're not used to heat I would recommend going down a level to hot or maybe even mild but this is one of those ones you probably want to enjoy you don't have to go so fast but I was kind of in a rush just because it was so hot and I just wanted to get this over and done with so that's why I kind of made that decision that was really tasty <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, cooking hot. So this is the point where the challenge kind of actually begins because after having that sandwich, I was content. I was like, you know, I could walk away feeling, you know, good about what I just had, but I knew I had three of their spiciest nuggets to take down. And this was no easy task because I was kind of at a point where I was just dripping so much sweat. I was so hot. The sauce they put on there is extra hot. I would have to rate it, you know, maybe an eight and a half out of 10 on the spice level. So it's not something to toy around with. But the good news is I had a good friend, Alex, sitting there cheering me on and kind of pushing me through and telling me to keep going because it was one of those ones that I was just like, you know, I kind of feel like stopping. I kind of had my gag reflex come out at some points just from the heat. Plus it was cooking hot, so trying to eat it really fast is hard. But the chicken overall was good. If I were to order this at a lower spice level and have it with an actual dipping sauce, which I forgot to use, it would probably be a lot more tasty and more of a better experience. So if you go down there, go tell them that coat sent you, that you saw the video and you want to try it out. Now before this actually began, I had a goal of about 
10 minutes to get it all down not just because that's a fast time or anything but just because i wanted to be in the hurt box the least amount that i could so that was kind of what i was shooting for at some point i had the timer going now these tenders were actually pretty big i think these just an order of three would fill most people up and you know maybe get some fries but having the sandwich and the tenders and the amount of heat it was actually really difficult so if this is something you try to take on be ready to kind of you know go into the hurt box for a little bit because after getting through you know a couple of those tenders with the heat you can see i'm just constantly shaking it's just my mouth is burning my stomach's starting to burn and it's not a fun experience but it was something that i wanted to take on and now the, with a, my favorite part of the meal is coming up which was the green chili bacon mac and cheese something i forgot to mention it had green chili in it and it was actually really delicious i didn't want to go fast on it but i kind of was at that close to the 10 minute mark so i kind of had to speed things up and just get it all down i just made it a, a kind of a sub goal from the beginning to go 10 minutes on this so the one light at the end of the tunnel is that for this meal uh, Dean actually comped me one of their banana puddings and it was actually really tasty it was some a little nice little sweet treat when I got all done with this so it was uh, really appreciated thanks so much for having me and I uh, I'll be back again so it's hard. Uh. Uh. Thanks for the encouragement, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Uh. That's it. I've been sweating for the last 10 minutes. That was really hot chicken sandwich very good tenders with the extra clucking they brought the heat but thankfully they didn't douse them in sauce so i wouldn't have been able to do it they were nice about it appreciate that made them still taste good the carolina reaper heat still continues to build so i'll be sitting in the hurt box for another 20 30 minutes but that's pretty much just for this one it was hot got it in about 10 minutes if you want to try this place out really good really tasty good fried chicken recommend coming if you're here in albuquerque check it out but uh that's all i got for this episode till the next one take care peace out